Hey guys! Today I'm making a different kind of video. This is going to be kind of like a candid video where I just sit down and actually I'm standing up right now. Stand up and <laughs> talk to you guys. I know that I did a video way, 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 way back when I lived in London about self-confidence. This time I'm going to do a video about dealing with negativity. Whether it is a hater in your family, like somebody that has a problem with you and is always putting you down, haters in your school life, if you go to school that's really a problem, like if you have bullies at school or mean girls or even like a teacher that has a problem with you for no reason. If you're online, like me, those kind of haters count too. Um, you could apply the same kind of tips that I'm going to give you to those but also, please remember that online haters and online bullies are not real. They're anonymous, just figments of imagination, kind of. What I'm saying is that anonymous online hating, it's just not... You can't even apply it to life because that wouldn't even happen in real life. Like, nobody is ever going to come up to you and say the things that anonymous online haters say to you over the internet because they're protected by their computer screen. If you do get online haters, if you make videos, if you have a blog, if you get any kind of online hate, my best advice is just to ignore it. Like, there's nothing else that you can do except ignore it. What I want to talk about today is more people in your real life, so in your actual life, who are hating on you, bullying you, putting you down, making you feel miserable, and how to deal with that negativity. You have to be confident and you have to be strong. So you have to be self-confident to deal with all the haters and the bullies and all those really mean people that want to put you down because if you don't have self-confidence, then you won't have anything. You won't be able to move forward. You'll just completely be like eaten away by all the hate and the negativity and that's so bad for you. So you need to have confidence. How do you get confidence? Usually why teenagers struggle so much with self-confidence and self-esteem issues is because they're so young and everything's changing, like their bodies are changing, their minds are changing, their ideas are changing, their personal environments maybe have changed or like their personal lives have changed. So they're dealing with a lot of change and change is scary and that can make you, it can knock your confidence or it can make you a little bit more self-conscious than you maybe were when you were a child. It doesn't matter what you wear, it doesn't matter if you are wearing things that suit your body shape or not, if you're in colors that suit you or not. If you're confident, it's just, I can't even explain it, but you're gonna look good. Believe me when I say this, a confident girl is so much more beautiful than a beautiful, like, not confident girl. Girl who just doesn't know that she's beautiful is not gonna appear as beautiful as the girl who maybe isn't as good looking as the other girl, but knows that she's good looking. Do you know what I mean? Just have faith in yourself and just be sure of yourself. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do in life, because it's your life. It's no one else's life but yours. And you know, if you have parent or brother, sister, peer, like friend, I don't know, teacher, who's putting you down, just remember that it's it's your decision to live your life the way you want to live it. And you don't need to take any crap <laughs> from them, anything. You just do what you want to do. When you've got your self-confidence kind of built up a little bit, nobody can hurt you. Nobody can attack you. If somebody calls you fat, if somebody calls you um, too chubby, if somebody calls you too short, it's it's not, it's just gonna bounce off of you because you have so much self-confidence, you know you're sure of yourself that you aren't, you aren't letting any of that in. Not like a wall, because a wall kind of has negative connotations that kind of insinuates that, you know, nobody can touch you and like you're enclosed in this wall, you don't have any friends, but that's not what I mean, I, I just mean that you have this kind of out outer exterior, so you have like a shell of confidence and nobody can get through it. You know, I get comments all the time telling me that I'm fat, chubby, that my um, lips are like effed up and that I've had injections, that I've had Botox, that I've had a nose job and it's completely ruined my face. I get comments about my eyebrows, that they're completely out of control, that I need to pluck them more, that I don't need to pluck them anymore, that I've over plucked them. Crazy stuff like that. Um, I get comments about my hair, that my roots are really bad, that the color's wrong. Just idiotic stuff like that. And I don't take any notice of it because number one, I love my hair. Number two, I love my eyebrows. Number three, I love the way my body is. I don't want to be any thinner. I don't want to be any bigger. I want to be the way I am right now. So I'm happy with the way I look. 
I'm happy with my life right now. And I know it's difficult because you are trying not to take on what people say and words and, you know, things that, negative things that people say do hurt. But if you have that level of confidence and if you're so sure of yourself and if you love yourself with all of your heart and if you can just be your best friend, then that won't affect you. It'll just run right off like water on a duck's back <laughs> because ducks have like wax on their feathers or something. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Check out my blog. Um, I'll probably do a little write up thingy on this and um, also my daily vlog channel because I will be uploading videos there every single day. And thank you so much for subscribing, all of you that have already. I really, really, really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. And um, I just want to say thank you. Bye.